All right, guys, this is the end of the night report. So we got this, uh, got a cut of mud thrown on that. We'll hit it one more time with a tight wipe, as uh, HPR likes to say, and uh, give it a block. We'll be done with that. And uh, we'll get this prime tomorrow. We'll get this little dent here to wipe, and uh, I think that's about it. And I'm going to sandblast the corners down there. Yeah, so we got the Hyundai in the uh, spray room, and uh, we'll get so me and my to this so tomorrow. And uh, yeah, Andrew is home, so probably cut this short. Here's the door on the Nova. Got that on there today, so that's good. Gap looks good. Put that quarter panel on there and we already had all this together so it's just been sitting apart so we'll get it all together and uh everything's looking good as far as the gaps so that's encouraging probably just give this a quick wipe and uh block it down and prime it and that's the plan anyway and then i'll get the uh core support mounted up there maybe tomorrow and the fender and uh bodywork defenders and then send the core support out to get the powder coated all that good stuff so so that's where we're at we got a bus tomorrow we're gonna put a rear main seal in so for you Volkswagen guys buddy of mine bought a bus and it's leaking a little bit of oil we're just gonna uh missing an engine bolt or two so we're gonna tighten it up put some new fuel line on it and uh put a seal in it check the clutch all that good stuff so that's where we're at I'm gonna go inside now say hi to Andrea see what she's up to and uh, we're gonna call it a day so that's that let me go ahead and close this you guys uh, haven't seen how this door works there it's pretty cool it's a folder Yeah. There's the intakes and then the uh, EPA compliant filters in the back there, the exhaust filter. 99% whatever it's supposed to be, I don't know. There's only one of them though, so what I was going to do is do the barrel thing. I showed Pister that, he thought it was pretty cool. Take the... Uh, you gotta have a chute that goes down into a 55 gallon drum and you submerge the chute about that far under the water and it bubbles up out of the water and the water holds all the uh, the heavy particles in the water and it keeps the overspray from flying in the air and if you were concerned about it freezing i guess you could throw a little antifreeze in there you know if you were up north so yeah so all right so we got a little bit done today, got the hood done, put a wipe on that fender, started working on this post, got that done, got the door on the Nova, got all this stuff moved around, and uh, so tomorrow we'll be hot and heavy on this. We got a seam seal a car for a guy, and uh, we'll make a couple of videos. Oh yeah, I wanted to mention to Tommy, man, I'm sorry you're having such a hard time with that, lying that fender up. One thing you might want to check is the uh, bushings on the frame. Sometimes, you know, the boxes where the body bolts to the frame can get tweaked up. So I want to make sure the bolts are even in there and they're, they're tight. The core support bolts and the, all the connecting points to the chassis. This car has aluminum bushings. There's no more rubber down there. I bought the Moroso kit. So. It's a little louder in the car, but uh, you don't have to worry about it moving around too much, and it makes it easier to bolt together with the frame connectors and the, you know, all that good stuff. So it's good to see the door on it. Yeah. So uh, thanks for the motivation there, Chris, for the ride in the Nova this morning. And uh, I got to dig up a striker for the other side, I think. Yep, I found these bolts. So I got a lot of bolts for the Nova now and I was losing uh, my mind trying to find this stuff and I finally found it out in the shed so 
All right, so let's call it a night. Shut these cabinets down. And, uh, lock it up. Oh, I put that fender on backwards. Somebody mentioned that. It's because I, uh, you know, we had a left, left and a left. All right, guys, it's been real exciting. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.